gold and it was agonizingly close but that's a silver medal i can't be too disappointed with that uh, it's my first ever individual at an olympic games so to walk away from that with a silver medal is fantastic a trio of silvers then shining from british stars of the water natalie perks bbc news paris this program continues on bbc one Accusing the previous Tory government of covering up unfunded policies, the Chancellor cancels road and rail projects to plug a gap of £22 billion in the public finances. But can she really blame the Tories for some of her own choices? And two children have died after a ferocious attack at that children's Taylor Swift dance class in Southport. Six other children are in a critical condition. We'll talk live to the Bishop of Liverpool. Hello, good evening. Welcome to Newsnight for interviews and insight. Your panel this evening, former Leveling Up Minister Deanna Davison, and we have Sunday Times columnist and former Olympian Matthew Side. It's been another huge political day with the Chancellor accusing the Tories of a public finance cover-up, and we will talk about that in just a moment or two. But first, how could a dance workshop for children become a scene of such tragedy? We're going to talk now uh, to the Bishop of Liverpool, uh, John Paramboleth, and to a local councillor, Councillor Sean Halsall, about the fact that two children have been killed and nine more are injured, six of them critically, after what police described as a ferocious stabbing attack at a Taylor Swift dance class for primary school children in Southport. A 17-year-old boy has been arrested. Gentlemen, thank you very much for talking to our audience this evening. Um, Bishop John, first of all, how are you able to help 